Don soon. You were gone a while. How are you feeling? I'm infected, but good to go. Yeah, that's great. Sorry about this. What? Sorry about what? <laughs> about that. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. <laughs> You're about to turn. Get into the light fast. That was close. Oh, what would you do without me, Pilgrim? <laughs> I never wanted to become a Pilgrim. I just sort of fell into it. I roamed the country for another reason entirely. I'm looking for my sister. Sister? Yeah, her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together. I think a guy named Waltz was experimenting on us. A lot of nut jobs in the world, huh? Yeah. I have to learn the truth. And then what? And then? What will you do once you find your sister? I'll find some place for us to live. You know, some place quiet. Gotta settle down somewhere now that I'm infected. Where will you go? Any place is better than this city. Ha, <laughs> well, that's a pretty low bar. I'll find a place where people aren't afraid of pilgrims. Aren't afraid of me. It'd be nice not to have to run and hide for a while. I always wanted to catch fish. <sighs> fish are good. Well, I have a very specific plan. You look like someone with a specific plan. I'd like to live by the ocean. You know, it's supposed to be easier there. I always wanted to learn how to surf. What, you find a bunch of old postcards or something? Ah, don't <laughs> laugh at my dreams, man. I know one thing. I have to get out of this city. It's killing me. Right from the inside. Will you help me? The ocean's a long way from here. And we're both infected. People don't want pilgrims for their neighbors. <laughs> Fuck people. I will help you with them. And you can help me survive on the road. You know the routes. You know how to survive out in the open. What do you think? We cover each other's asses. How does that sound? And we'll see. For now, I'm a long way from my goal. And until that changes, I can't help you. I understand. Fine. As for your goal, here's the situation around here. After the PK commander was murdered, they blocked the route to the center. They're trying to keep the killer from escaping. To get to Fisheye, we have to outsmart them. But I know when they change the night guard. That will be our chance. I'm gonna get the stuff we'll need for the passage. I have to suss out our odds. Meantime, take a look around. Live a little. Uh, come on. Let me show you something.
will need these. Take a look around the city. Old Villador. Plenty of interesting spots to check out. See the church? That's where the howlers were after us. It's the center of the district. You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things.
Hey, kid, you know some old world folks recorded audio time capsules when they realized the shit was gonna hit the fan? Gotta look inside building and find them. When we perform one more time. I wonder, was that easier than God before? Where you're going? What a day. No freaking way I can do it. Sorry. Five years of learning and all for nothing. nothing. Easy money. Really? What's the problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Matt, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. Hey, what's a Craftmaster? You're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the Grand Master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him, that he's slow and not very eloquent, but he's a real friggin' genius. What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash, but he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then, I hit it! Our goats! They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention, the electric fence. Yeah, that's a little rough. Stressed goats can give bitter milk. Seriously? Goats get stressed? But wouldn't you, if someone electrocuted you and then went for your crotch? Oh, no. It's only a very small voltage. Won't do more than tickle them. So, what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case you'll have to look for other patrol remains or take a night trip to the store. <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic! 
Heaven must have sent you. Yeah, here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen, then. Near the wall. I ain't leaving the bazaar today. The wind's blowing from the east. <coughs> That's a bad. Looking at all the dead people. That says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Yeah, then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Have you heard of kids who were in the GRE tests? Huh. And who wasn't in the tests? The young, the old, the blind, the deaf. Everyone came to find a vaccine. Some for cash, others to cheat destiny and not get infected. But that was the devil's bargain of Villador. Walled in with the plague, but given the chance to be the ones who gave the cure to the world. Well, the virus won. The study was eventually discontinued. And the children? Officially, no one tested on children. Human rights and other crap. And unofficially? And unofficially. Apparently, some of the kids were taken out of the city. The rest? Well, they just scattered around the city, abandoned. If the infected didn't get them, then hunger or darkness did. When did all this happen? A long time ago. Looking at you, you were still a kid yourself. Once upon a time, I came across two of them. Two girls. They were five or six years old, and it looked like they hadn't eaten for a month. What were their names? I don't remember. I threw them some old bread and took off because they were shaking as if they were about to turn. Red eyes, swollen veins. I don't know what they were giving them there. Those psychos from the GRE. Yeah, those night runners. Tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived. Including Frank, their former commander. Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around.